It's truly said that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And cooking with love gains you very good friends. If you eat together, you always stay together. Today I shall share with you two recipes which goes back to my Parsi heritage. I have inherited many more from my grandmother and my mother. Parsis make very elegant hosts. They are very particular with whatever is there. They have their matching crockery with the matching glasses. Even their beverages match the food they are going to give you. And if you want to know more, come into the kitchen with me and I'll show you what I'm making today. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple yellow dal. It's a Parsi dal and we call it Pili dal. This dal is usually put over plain white rice and then we make a prawn patia and that prawn patia is put over the dal and it, this particular dish is called dhandar patia. It's a traditional Parsi dish and I'm sure you'll enjoy it and we'll show you how we are going to do all the preparations. First, I have washed this half kg of mung dal and kept it here. And this is some heated water, about three cups full, which I am going to put the dal in and let it simmer. So we do that first as the first step. Though it's a very simple dish, it's also very special because it's, I have learned this recipe from my grandmother and she used to make the most tastiest peely dal. And a dal which my children loved as they were growing up because it doesn't, it's not too hot. And their main meal used to be daily, just plain white rice, the best of the basmati rice, along with this dal. And a little brishta on top, which I'm also going to show you. Brishta, of course, is onions deep fried. So slowly, we will go about and you'll see what is so special about this dal. It might sound very simple, but believe me, it comes out the tastiest dal. So here we go, we cut the first onion for our brishta. You've got to cut this into fine long pieces. I take all of this, but before I have got to pour some oil into this pan that the onions are soaked into it. Cooking is fun if you enjoy it. And cook with love. That is the main ingredient that brings out everything you do with a lot of taste. They say there, iske haat mein taste hai. That's what my mother-in-law used to tell me. And that's very special. So I let it cook. In the meantime, I'm waiting for this dal to bring up the froth. And when the froth comes up, this is the special beauty that you have got to take off all the froth and then let it cook in its own waters until it is completely done. Till the froth decides to come up, let me tell you about the Parsis who are so very particular, how they eat their food, how they lay it out. But I think that's what makes them. They like a well-spread table with a lot of style and their eating habits are also very European. They still live in the era of the British Raj, even till today. And sometimes I also feel a little sad that they should lay down and become a little bit more casual with life, you know. But then that's them and that's what makes them very special. And they are lovely people, by and large, very gentle and I'm proud to be one of them, really. See the froth is coming on now? So as the froth comes full on, I have to wait and then slowly take this off and remove all the froth out. And now the dal is half cooked. So I again take off the lid, just make it see that it's all well mashed. It's like 
it's just right. Then I take pure ghee, three spoonfuls of this pure ghee into the dal. I mix it in well. Oh, the aroma as it is, it's great. There's a particular aroma that comes when you put pure ghee into any dish. Okay, there we go. And now we let it cook, which will take another about 10 to 15 minutes. And we wait till this is done. When all this is done, then I take this brishta, put the dal into a dish, serving dish, and pour the brishta over it. And then the peely dal is ready to be put over the plain rice. And then when you make the prawn patia, you put the prawn patia on top of the dal. And it's a mouth-watering dish. Wow, this dish really looks good. The dal is really looking yummy. Take a little salt. To this, mix the same properly. Now that the dal is done, I put it into the serving bowl. So looking so good, I almost feel like having it right away. We pour it right slowly and steadily, right to the top. And just for a little bit of look and decoration, we put this brishta on top of the dish that is being served with. And there you have your ready-made peely dal. If you've missed anything, this is the recap for you again. For yellow dal, in a pan, heat 7 to 8 tablespoon oil, add 2 to 3 sliced onions and fry them till golden brown. Now set it aside on a kitchen paper to drain the excess oil. In another pan, add 3 to 4 cups of water and bring it to boil. Now add the 250 gram moong dal, stir well, cover it with a lid and bring it to boil. Remove the froth from the dal. Now add 3 tablespoon ghee, salt to taste and bring the dal to boil till the desired consistency is achieved. Garnish the dal with a prepared barista. Your delicious yellow dal is ready to be served. Now we'll take a short break, after which I'll introduce you to today's guests. Welcome back. Today's guest is a very special man. First, he's a very close family friend. Then he is the ex-MD of Britannia Industries and he was the man who brought Britannia Industries into prominence. He's also on the board of the Prasar Bharati and besides anything, he's a very interesting man who always makes you feel happy and jolly when you meet him. Hi, Zareen. How are you? Hi. How are you, Sunil? Super so good. So nice to see you at my show. Come, come, please. There was no way I could say no huh? to your command and that's it. You know, you go back so many years. Our friendship must be when I think... For 30 years, at least. <laughs> and since both of us had child marriages, we are still young. <laughs> Today, you know, I'm going to cook you some very good food, which I hope you will enjoy. Something different, but very special. Look, your food, I enjoy all the time. I love sitting at your table and then you've got Sanjay sitting on one side with the Western food and I've got all the Indian dishes in front of me. <laughs> And we are sitting like a family with two different kinds of meals yes. at the same time and having an interesting conversation. It's gone Especially on for years. Especially made for you when you come. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? <laughs> you know, I love the heated arguments in your house and then we cool off over food yeah. and <laughs> that's, it. that's yeah. it. And that's it's great. It. Thank you. But you're also very special and your family is very special. Maya is special to me. Yeah. I love her very much and she's one of my dear friends. So. It's always yeah, good. you know, as far as we are concerned, I mean, Maya and you have got along and I think your daughter and my daughter have got along. And it's amazing that our friendship has gone. The children have not been influenced because dad and mom are friends. We have yeah. to be friends. Yeah, They've had their own independent relationship, yeah. which is fabulous. Women have been special in my life in any case, whether they know how to cook or not comes later. But the fact remains that women are far more interesting. They are far more knowledgeable these days. They work twice as hard. And uh, it's quite an interesting scene for me to be going around. And today I've 
gone into supporting women's empowerment also. So let's say cheers to women. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if any of the girls have learned how to cook, huh? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why. But you'll be happy to know there's another very special guest who's coming in also. But I'm going to keep that a secret for the time being. Oh. Before that, you're going to help me cook. Oh, before the second guest comes? Yes. My God, are you sure I won't ruin your dish? No, no. I want you to be there and be my uh, assistant, maybe. So if you're going to help me cook, let's go, assistant. We'll go into the kitchen Super. right away. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to make you a very special dish today. It's called the prawn patia. But I was looking for some Mughlai food today. <laughs> I knew you like Moglai, but believe me, once you taste the prawn patia, you'll forget about the Moglai food that I cook for you. We have lit this fires lit. There's going to be a little oil put in till the oil heats. We will cut the onions. So about three tablespoons of oil I put in first. The onions have got to be cut into about say two or three onions. Vazareen, watching you work mm. is an amazing sight in itself. Thank you. I hope it's a good one, at least. <laughs> okay, now we take all this and we put it into the, the frying, pan. frying pan. And let it brown lightly till it goes a light brown. And also along with it, we put some of these curry pattas. See? So you put the curry patta right in the beginning, is it? Right in the beginning, as it simmers. And of course, we can't forget the salt. Now, this is where the spoons come in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell Maya that the next time she should let you... By the way, she makes a very good... Uh, uh, that uh, Hyderabadi prawn curry, right? She does. Amazing. Yes, I know. Because she's given me the recipe and I've got that. So, I also cook that. Super. Because then I've got to taste this and then we'll compare the two. Absolutely. Till it's, we have to let it wait till it becomes little light brown. After a little while, we take a little spoon like this and then we add the spices. But how much are you adding? Huh? Because uh -huh. what happens to most cooks and cookbooks mm. is that when you, you have to be quite specific mm. that if you're cooking half a kilo of prawns, then it, you cannot add more than you're one right. teaspoon or... Half a teaspoon. Right. Well, half a kg of uh, prawns would be two teaspoons of this red chilli and a pinch of haldi, about yeah. quarter teaspoon. And also one teaspoon of this uh, dhania powder. Now, as this is simmering and it's becoming, see, light brown, it's taken in all that, we add a little bit of the garlic, about two or three spoons. You have to have so a little bit of... Garlic is a major mm. ingredient in this, sir, yeah. because the rest yes. is a dash, dash, mm. and you put massive amounts of garlic. Not massive. In this, uh, we put about two teaspoons. You see, you must also, there's not a rigid rule. You see how it goes, and then you play by the year. That's a good cook has to have that little andaza, as they say, you know. But if you really want to go by the book, then about two teaspoons of garlic. Now, after this is done, we pour in the all of this together. And this is tomatoes? This is a tomato juice. The juice of the tomato taken, you know. And now we let it simmer for some time. So this in Punjabi cooking would be called the tadka that you are preparing before you put the prawn. Yes. You know, Sudin, I must tell you also this. The prawn patia is why it's a specialty because you first bake the white rice, you right. put it on the plate, then you have the yellow as we call it, the peely dal. Right. And you put the peely dal and then over the peely dal, you put this prawn patia. Oh, wow. So it really tastes, the dish is very good and it's called dandar patio in the Parsi way. So one thing which is good about Indian cooking is you can't ever be called a racist when you say peely dal, kali dal. Mm -hmm. You're no longer a racist because we also say in Punjabi peely dal and kali dal. <laughs> Which is good. I am also guti putting a wow, paste. Wow, that's a of lot the, of chilies. Yeah, right? a little bit, you know, just to give it that little flavor and make it red in color to get, get, get its color. See how the color comes. So I thought when you put a lot of chilies, the color comes on the face of the guy who's eating it. But 
It also comes <laughs> off the dish. It's great. Sunil, I have to see that this doesn't become too thick. So I think we'll put a little bit of the water in it, just for an extra gravy. So do you think you can pass me the water ah, from so there? So this is going to make yes. the difference now. I've actually contributed. Let me uh, see you pour how a much, little bit in. I'll tell you, very little. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's okay. enough. Yeah. That's too much? <laughs> no, that's not too much. That's just right. See, I told you that mm -hmm. I'm a bad helper, but a no. great eater. No, no. You, now you've seen this, how we've prepared this dish. Right. I am sure you'll be able to make it yourself. <laughs> So we keep see? waiting till this. No, 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 one minute. Then this is already. See, you can see the bubbles ah, come the bubbles up. Have okay. Come up. Right. Now the bubbles have come up. Now we put in the prawns and let it all cook together. Wow. See? Look at the gravy, the thick gravy, huh? Yeah. So you haven't boiled the prawns or anything no, before no, no, that? No. They're just fresh just prawns. The, yeah. See how it looks. So then here, we'll cut co coriander. Yeah. We put some of it on. So you don't wait to add it as a garnishing, huh? At the no, end, no. you wait, you that allow, once, put it in when it cooks. Yeah, no, but now the prawns are cooked. Okay. So when the prawns are cooked, then you put last this as a garnish okay. and you lower the flame. Ah. So you put this and then you take these full chilies and you slit the chili again to keep the, them intact. And you put it in, about four or five, not too much. My son, Zayed, he's such a great cook. And more than that, my husband, Sanjay, he's one of the best cooks in his time. Yeah, but, but they never... all told me that they started huh? cooking because you whipped them into shape. Otherwise, they were refusing <laughs> to cook. <laughs> Sunil will always say something that will make you laugh. And now we lower this even more. And we'll wait for another two minutes. And the patia is done. Terrific. Okay, now the dish is ready, Sunil. And now you can pass me the spoon. Oh, so this is the biggest chamcha you've got, which is me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, the taste is because of the water that you made me put. It's got nothing to do with your with cooking. Me. Okay, I agree. <laughs> and the spoons that I'm passing you are yeah. making all the difference. See? See the sauce. Wow, this looks terrific. Huh? Huh? Would you like Maya to learn this recipe from me? Till I have not fully eaten and I'm going to compare it to the Hyderabadi prawns and then I will say <laughs> <laughs> my final decision. Okay, I give you that time. Both are bound to be good. Can I just clean this out from here? How sweet. Wow. Do you want to lick it? Mm. Now this dish is ready to be served. It's called the prawn patia. You mean ready to be served and eaten? And eaten. And if you've missed something, here's the recap. You mean it's not in your recipe book? It is. So therefore, if you don't know how to read, wait for the recap. For prawn patia, in a pan, add 2 to 3 tablespoons oil and heat it. Add 2 diced onions and saute it till light brown. Add 8 to 10 curry leaves, salt to taste and mix well. Now add half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoon red chili powder, two teaspoon coriander powder, mix well and let it fry. Add three teaspoon garlic paste, 300 ml tomato puree, stir continuously and cook it on a slow fire till it is half cooked. Add two tablespoon red chili paste, add little water for extra gravy and bring it to boil. Now add 500 gram prawns, Lower the heat and bring it to a boil. Add finely chopped coriander, 4 to 5 green chilies, add 2 to 3 tablespoon lemon juice and cook it on slow fire for 5 minutes till the oil comes on top. Your delicious prawns patia is ready to be served. And now we are going to have another guest who is one of my favourite persons. Would you like to guess? She is a very creative child. And she's a gemologist, she's a jeweler, and she designs jewelry for everyone. Most of her designs have been worn by international stars. So she, according to me, is the best. This is my Farah, my firstborn. Hi. 
and how are you? My God, what are you doing here? Well, I'm a guest on the show, Sunil. Hi, Farah. So happy to see you, darling. <laughs> Me too. Love you, love you, love you. Oh, love you too. Come, please come and so sit down. So happy to be here. Yes, I know. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You forgot to hug me? I've already <laughs> hugged you. Sit down. So how are you, darling? Good, Mom. I'm just so happy to be here on the show. And uh, I think Sunil is one person that we like get along like a house on fire, right? Absolutely. I, yeah. I fully agree. I'm the only one who's laughing at his jokes. You know, for once you've got two people who can't cook. You, can you cook? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so that's why, Zareen, we are great eaters. I don't know where. She eats like hell and look at her weight. I eat a little bit and look at my weight. So, I mean, like, I'm amazed. I've got to ask you, where does all the food go? Yeah, you better tell them what Well, you... Sunil, actually, truth be told, um, I don't cook now, but I used to cook. So I actually end up eating a lot of food, but I have this, I choose health, hel healthy options. I won't eat fried food. I will eat roasted. I will eat uh, grilled. I would eat uh, pan-fried food, but I would definitely not touch the oily food. I live to eat. That's, I don't love yes, to. Yes, but actually you do love the crab curry yes. and the certain dishes she will grab and eat. Like you know, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, for me, taste comes first, health comes second. So I eat like a pig and I don't exercise. There was a natural exercise earlier, which we have stopped in many ways because people walk to school, people walk, walk to work. Yeah. Today we get out of our house, into a car, then into a lift, which takes us, we don't even climb stairs anymore. True. So if you continue eating like the way they did, and you don't exercise the way they did. Even I'm not point. going but into I a gym. But I climb the point. stairs, what I'm saying. I eat, but I climb the stairs. And I don't take the escalators. And, and I try to balance out life. That's what you I know, do. I've got to check all this out with Akil, who's a great friend of mine. Whether you actually do all this or not. Ask but him. He, I know <laughs> she talk about food, yeah. not How exercise, did you escape? So let's How did you food. escape her food by getting uh, into all this? My childhood years are of all uh, you know recipes that my mom used to speak to, to all the chefs in our uh, kitchen so there was always something exciting and I think as children we always looked yeah. forward to food either there was a biryani or there was haram masala chops bagara bengans and you know aloo ka bharta and a lot of those dishes too so when I think of this actually my mouth is watering <laughs> and I've come to this show only because I'm hoping that you're going to feed me on the show I will darling <laughs> so... but coming back to food all of them say that uh, Nani's food comes always better than in our house. How is that, Mom? I would say that Sundays are a place where we actually all meet as a family, whether in Mom's house, my house, Simone's house, Zayed's house. And there's always so much food on the table. And my mom is so considerate because she'll realize, OK, I like healthy options, so a healthy option will be made. Uh, Suzanne, at one point, was vegetarian, so a vegetarian option will be made. I don't think she's ever learned how to cook for only six people. No, I mean, uh, in her house, you can take a couple of guests ac across and they can be from all hues. Vegetarian, not eating mutton, somebody not eating chicken, and it's there. And but that's let the amazing me tell you, part. Nothing goes waste in our house because we have so many people around yep, to sure. give. And I, I think, think as my as my husband really feels that the more we feed people, the more barkat comes to the house, which Correct. is very important, you know. It's same thing in my family. The only person who was is a natural cook uh, is my elder daughter Savri. Uh, I mean, really? Savri has, has an amazing my God. Food. My God, she's got <laughs> an um, my younger daughter, poor thing, if she bakes a cake. It'll end up like a little bit of a rock and now she's improving. Oh, but the sweet. older one is, give her a recipe, it's like a natural. If you have a green thumb yeah. on agriculture, oh. she just makes the most fabulous desserts, the most fabulous food. So Maya and all, everybody has learned in a way oh. from Samri. Maybe samri has got it from my mother, but oh. nobody in the family has been great cooks, but Samri has. Speaking of great cooks in our family, of course, mom is a great cook. My dad is an excellent cook. My brother is an excellent yeah, cook, but loves. none of the women in the family <laughs> are excellent <laughs> cooks. That would include Simone, Suzanne, Malaika and me. But I have to say that Suzanne actually attends to cook and she does churn out some few dishes. Yes, yes, she's pretty but good. but uh, Simone, um, Malaika and myself don't cook. My husband, Akil, is a great cook, yeah. so that's nice. Um, I remember we were in Istanbul recently for my parents' 50th anniversary. And they all said, okay, let's cook today in the kitchen. So who's going to cook what? So everyone said, I'll cook this, I'll cook this, I'll cook that. And I was like, and I will eat. <laughs> <laughs> you got good chefs like this, why should we cook? 
Everybody can't be good cooks. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy feeding people. I love feeding people, and I feel there's so much of happiness around our Sunday get-togethers with my family. I would never miss them for anything in the world. I mean, we have this pool, and all the kids get in, and then we are all there together, and it's a lovely feeling. So I really feel that if you eat together, you stay together. When we met at a friend's house, and Maya and Sanjay yeah. got along together yeah. because both of them, well, I. Hate to say it about ourselves, they are well read. Yes. They know much more than us in terms of knowledge. They remember a lot. They remember. Like a all lot. wives not remember a lot. Know, remember. And that's what we have a trouble with wives about not remembering. And you could see the bonding starting immediately. And then of course they start then when he was directing, and yes. then Maya went on to Tipu, Tipu Sultan, Sultan and stuff like that. But that's where it began. And every time I used to go to uh, her house, and I don't like Western food, huh? so I mean there was used to be a big debate between us. And would you like to have some soup? And I'd always say I'm already in it. I mean, therefore I don't want any soup. And I loved Indian food, but the thing was that, as I was saying earlier, our kids got together, we got together, and it was important that. And then of course we learned because we didn't have too many uh, too many servants to iron our differences out over food. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, that was equally important. No. That's nice. That's where yeah. I. But can we just um, eat now because I'm really hungry. I'm famished. <laughs> Mom, no, I, we, I've only come on the show okay. because I need to eat. You know, but okay, the question I is, we are going. One second, we are going to eat. But I still, over the table, I'm going to discuss how do you manage to eat so much. I eat so little, and I've been saying, and you keep on eating. <laughs> this one is forever. You've spoiled her actually with all your cooking at home. <gasps> Come and on, that's let what me is... take you to the table and show you how I eat, <laughs> how much I eat, and how I still remain <laughs> slim. <laughs> take a short break. And we'll see you at the table. Well, the food is on the table, so you can start going. Wow! wow. Mom, <laughs> you made my favorite dishes. Prawn party and the yeah, the dal, the yellow dal. I remembered. I, I remembered how you loved it when you were a little baby. So I said, today I'm going to make. You know, this. Sunil, this reminds me of my grandmother, my Let's maternal start. grandmother, and she used to make this for me all the time. Super. And this is my but favorite you've dish. told me how we'll take rice, then we'll put dal yes. on top so of it, me, and then we'll put the prawn. Let me do it yeah, first time. Do it first, so that oh. we eat it right. I'm just digging in, huh? Don't <laughs> mind me because I am starving. Very good. But Thank that's you. it. Thank you. Now. Just get the dal over it. You can pour as much of dal as you want. Okay. It's delicious, so you can pour it's quite a lot. It's called dal, and it has this um, fried onions over it yes. with this delicious uh, hint of ghee. Yeah, pure so, ghee. And, and pure ghee. Which and is it, supposed to be very healthy these days. Yes. Right? Completely, completely. And something you would enjoy eating. This is called actually dhandar patia. So I'm going to help you serve you a little bit because this is the way actually it is put out. Yes, and, and the prawns are looking a nice, luscious, uh, nice size. I cooked it, my dear. But rubbish, you don't what? cook. Of you course, cook. No, he has to me. He did. He yes, has this me. prawn yes. dish was made by me. I added the water. Then I'm, then I'm not so sure about the taste. <laughs> it looks good, but I'm not so sure about the taste. You know what I love about it? It is today? fish, but I'm just pulling a leg. <laughs> I love the fact that it's all seafood. Mm -hmm. It's something I enjoy eating the most because it's really healthy. Farah, it's seafood, S double E. And, and there's no food. A in your seafood. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> So, Sunil, tell me something. Hmm. We're talking about, we, you have got two girls, I've got three girls. My girls don't cook, but what about yours? Savri does, and Savri is a good cook. But more importantly, I think, uh, initially, most families like ours want a son. Hmm. You know, the older generation. Today, of course, we are moving hmm. on ahead. And I also, when I got two daughters, and I said, my God, you know, I wish if I had one son, hmm. one, you know, one daughter. Complete family. Ramp family. But, as they grew older, let me tell you, and I'm not mm. saying it because I've got two daughters, I haven't missed a boy in the house at all. Because I find that women are far more affectionate, far more caring, mm. regardless of whether they get married or they don't get married, they do not forget the relationship that are there with parents. I'm not saying all sons, but many sons then move away and almost a lot of them begin to ignore the old relationships. Yeah. And, women and, are and the women are just so much educated. I've started making films now. Yes, did you make a, a, a women empowerment yeah, film? Yeah, I've just made two 60-second made two sixty second films, mm. which has almost had about four, four and a half lakh hits on YouTube. And it's a question of saying, it's kind of anti-dowry. But we say, uh, I've changed the line of uh, Beti Padhao and Beti Badhao kind of mm -hmm. thing 
it is actually we are saying you know like oh no be, uh, betty and we are doing it mm. but the education is what is going to make them stand up so there was a young actually a young guy in somebody's home who came across from the village and he was relating a story of how a young girl over there when they asked for the dowry mm. she actually told her in-laws well i bought your son after giving you the dowry wow. my parents That's have wow. bought your son so i said that idea is so powerful mm-hmm. then we went on to make a film because what this lady says is that there's a scooter which has come in her dowry mm. and the father says they're going out the, yeah. the boy and the girl and Perfect. the father says well i have to go and i'm going to use the scooter mm. so the boy is a little namby pamby in it well, you know and he doesn't know what to tell his father yeah. and she says look i have bought your son, son yeah. <laughs> if you ask politely mm. aapko milega istemal karna scooter bhi mm. aur beta bhi <laughs> and that's how it ends so a lot of people well said, it, it huh? appeared in a lot of international huh? papers huh? in australia huh? the garden uk and the mm. guardian in uk mm. and all but no, one question they asked mm. was are you supporting dowry ha huh? because i was you know she's getting angry because you asked mm. but therefore you are agreeing with dowry mm. and i said no all you can do is you can shame anyone who wants to ask for dowry by saying you are now putting your son on sale it's not a right anymore you mm. cannot ask for a dowry because i have a boy put him up in the market if you if you know and say highest bidder i almost wanted to put a price tag around each boy saying you know 5 lakh go to the mela and by someone who is the but cheapest these days huh. we have to come back to food because i have to tell you sunil even though you partially cook this it's delicious so it's amazing what do you mean even though no, because you just said that <laughs> he like, helped, you have yeah, by passing the spoon <laughs> by passing the spoon okay but i think i want to ask you tell me something what is your favorite dish that maya cooks for you maya makes uh, for me she has one or two things one is of course hyderabadi mm. prawns it's mm-hmm. outside then there's a hyderabadi dal mm-hmm. which is also a peeli dal mm-hmm. but it's cooked in a hyderabadi style with the you know the round red chilies which stay there for flavor yeah. that's outstanding and most importantly is the begun ka bharta in the house mm. i have not eaten that begun ka bharta in any home to date maya learned the fact that mm. sanjay was a great cook was mm. when they were shooting for tipu sultan mm. I mean Sanjay would cook and Maya and she were they were all staying in the same hotel yeah. and they'd all wait for Sanjay to cook as well so I think your entire family other than runs in the family No no it this it doesn't <laughs> this one it runs out but all the same it runs in the rest of the family Do not eat <laughs> Of course I, like I don't to eat somebody has to eat I tell you a funny story my spouse Akil cooks really well okay mm. and I never enter the kitchen Now when we first got married many years ago 18 years ago I decided that I can't spoil him and try and be the doting wife saying are you hungry let me fix you something so I decided then and there that why should I shatter all his dreams mm. because I don't want him to tell me 20 years from now you used to cook and now you don't cook so I decided never to enter the kitchen so the day the first day we got married and he said you know John I'm hungry can you get me something I said John you know where the kitchen is go get it yourself <laughs> And to today's lim no no but no. she's right I'll tell until today you know Akil cooks the most amazing food and you have to try his keema his keema pao is a minced meat preparation which is to die for it's but like fara mainly in the world even the guys are one of the best cooks they say the best chefs yeah best men. chefs they Try enjoy it you know no no i'm just saying for mm. instance she, she didn't want to fix akil's food but she mm. wanted to fix akil mm. so that she has done but all i'm saying it's a lot easier when you're not a good cook like mm. me or like fara say of course i'll make you a meal and let your husband eat it and he'll never ask you again to cook another meal for him rather than <laughs> you go but if you're a good cook you've had it because he'll say now you go and cook it again this so uh, that if you're not good at something fara one lesson i've learned saying yes of course i'll do it and your wife will stop asking you and your husband will say ye nahi no i'm not <laughs> going to ask her because she'll again make that horrible stuff absolutely. and knock the hell out absolutely of. well i hope you guys have enjoyed the meal truly i loved it i i've eaten more than you can ever imagine i'm full <laughs> it's fantastic you are Always such a sweet your ghar ki murgi ghar ki murgi dal barabar i'm i'm ghar ki dal barabar <laughs> See between two feminine, I've already become a murgi instead of a murga. They're gonna knock the hell out of me. <laughs> And now I've got something special planned for you. Wow! Wow! What? I thought this was it. <laughs> Mom, thank you. That was the most amazing meal, and I'm feeling so so full. But do you have some chocolate? 
but ye kya pehle forget about the chocolate what about this i mean what well, are these the for chocolates and everything is right here wow. in this but you can't take that first why, why not? i'm going to blindfold you and you have got to answer the cancering machine test if you answer that rightly only then you get who's the winner gets this i'm oh, going to beat you that so, yeah. you going to beat now, me matlab ke maroge like this, so, <laughs> please yeah. try this There are four little katoris. The first two are smell. So and I have lifted it so that my nose can be seen a little. Is that okay? Fine, <laughs> but don't cheat. No, I'm and not cheating. And the second two are touch. Okay. okay. Do we get going? So we have to smell. Okay, smell. Hmm. This reminds me of my dentist. Yeah, it's um, clove and cardamom and dalchini and all that. No, dentist. I think it's clove or dalchini for sure. Something it is. Yes, for sure. Are we right? Well. It's only cloves. So only cloves. So I got it right. I said, so remind me of my I dentist. I think Farah is one this round. What yeah, rubbish! Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, partiality yeah, straight away. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah, not right. Yeah, yeah. Next, okay, next. The next one. I think it's a lychee. Do you think it's a lychee, Farah? Yes, Mum, because it's something I don't like at all. So this is definitely a lychee. Okay, you can put that down. I think you're both right in this one. Okay, now you take the third katori, Sunil, and you just touch it and identify it. No, but let's get Farah go first. No, she's okay, copying Farah, me all the time. I'm ahead. not copying you. Okay. You just stop touching me. Okay, right. okay, now your turn. Feels like tulsi or basil. Am I right? What are the Indian words? For no, no. Tulsi. This is like tulsi. What do you think, Sunil? You say. I think it's. Uh, I think it's also tulsi or the other stuff which we were cooking. What was the name which you were yanking out of that little pot of yours? Well, I have to say that Sunil is right this time. See, curry patta. Yeah. Ah, that's it. So I got it right. No, both of you. And I can't see. She gave the name. She no, but name. I smelt it. I cheated. <laughs> she cheated. Oh, How about yes. now we are one all? Do you mind? We one are all one. going okay, well. One all. Then now the fourth one. No, oh, this is easy. This is not easy. This, okay, then let us say it first. It's very easy for me. <laughs> and you can't take so long, huh, Farah? Listen, I'm. I don't cook, so this is this. Neither do I. I. Only eat. Okay. This, what is it? This is like uh, reminds me of um, coriander. Hey, you smelled, so you cheated. I didn't. I didn't no, smell it. Uh, uh, Sunil has smelled. You I cheater. can smell and taste. Cheater. Why? No, you're what not cheater? supposed. You're only supposed to feel it. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling. Yeah. Chalo. What? What is it? You said. Coriander. Yes. You're right. This Are you never gave me a chance to say anything? I cheated. So you got you disqualified. Cheated, disqualified. disqualified. Sorry. What liars you are! This is yeah, nepotism happening over rubbish, here between rubbish, mother and daughter. Rubbish. I won. One more test. It's the art of tasting. There are two little dishes there in front of you. Food. And you've got to taste it and tell me what it is. Farah, you take it also. God, how this is a superb taste. I eat it all the time, but I can't. I know what name. this is. I know what it is. What is it? If I tell, he'll copy. Doesn't matter. You tell. First, tell him to say. No, no I'm sorry. It. First, you I'll say. I'll be the next one. No, I'll say yes. No, I'm going to copy. Okay, okay doesn't matter. Whoever says first wins. Okay, these are fried onions. Wow, she's won the round. She's won the round. No, the second oh, one. Oh, see, how much of nepotism the... is already on? She's I won the round. Win the round. <laughs> she's won the round. Okay. okay, well done. Now the second one. Parana, no, this time you do it. Start. No, whoever says it first. Now that's it. Not this round. That round is all over. This. I know what it is. What? Kichdi. No, Kichdi is about you. Everybody, ah, but no, no, no. You lost. What Dal. do you mean, Kichdi? You have to ask. Kichdi made out of what? Dal, obviously. Dal. And chawal. It, it goes Dal. beyond that. It's I so. Have I lost? Won. No, 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 no. She hasn't got it right. It's you dal. just said khichdi is dal. Yeah, That's not khichdi. Khichdi is made of dal and chawal. Anyway, hey. she won the first round, but don't get so upset because no, no. But I'm just saying this is one just dal. There's no khichdi in this. There is rice in it. It's only dal. It's dal. Oh, well, so you're then see, okay. and she's still saying you got no, it out. So much of nepotism. I got the onions right. I was getting it right also. I didn't want to say it because you copy. And I got the cloves, and I got the dal. Very good. And I got the coriander right. Good fun to have all this. 
So mom, now that I won, can I please have that gift? Wait for some time. There's one more round to complete in which you've got to give me the Hindi words for the items I state. Okay, the first word is fennel seeds. Soft. Soft, okay. We got it. Okay. Basil. Tulsi. Tulsi. Together. Together. That was then the cooking. Kidney beans. Rajma. Rajma. I said Rajma. Okay, I okay. said Rajma. You won, you won, you won. Okay, okay you won. Chickpeas. Chole, chana, 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 chole. Punjabi will say chole. Chana okay. is the right answer. Okay. Cottage paneer. <laughs> so I'm letting you win now because you're arguing so much. You might as well win. <laughs> Cottage cheese is the okay, only one so I knew. Now I think uh, I will be fair. Uh, I think she's won by one point. But one more? No, one point. <gasps> You've been cheating a little bit. I <laughs> haven't cheated. He's the one who cheated and so smashed I, something. But yet I will touch. give you both a hand. Chalo, because well you've been such very good hosts. I will give you uh, both of you a hamper each because you've been wonderful, wonderful guests on our show. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. But I Thanks. think I deserve both. You want to take both? You take both. Thank I'm, I'm all, now, I'm all set. You please don't know, Leja. So it's lovely to have you both on my show. You really made us laugh and I'm really, really glad you came. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mom, for, for having show. us. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you Farah. you for your August company. August company in the month of October. October. <laughs> no, but she deserved to win everything. I was cheating left, right and centre. Even then I lost. Thank you. Sydney. I accept that. He's being honest. He's being honest. Wow. <laughs> That was a lovely afternoon, wasn't it? Join me on my culinary journey with many interesting people and lots of new recipes.